駅までの各駅です次は古中に停まりますご乗車の際足元にご注意ください All right, hello everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing great. Um, today I came to Juzo, which is like about a stop away from, hold on, let me fix this camera. It's about a stop away from Umeda. And um, a lot of the locals don't really like this area um, because they say it's tied to like um, maybe Yakuza or like, you know, um, some bad people. But um, I like these types of areas. But I think because there's a lot of like shady bars and uh, pachinkos, um, a lot of a lot of locals don't like um, they don't like this area, especially for like living. Um, but I think if I were to um, rent a house, I think I would like to live in this area. Um, I think for Japanese locals, this does seem like a shady area. But I guess if you're from America, it's not that bad. And the thing is, because a lot of locals don't want to live here, the, um, the apartment rentals are very cheap around here. And also, um, you're only one stop away from Umeda, which is um, a busy station. This is also a busy station. You can get anywhere with this train station as well. Um, the main train station is Hankyu, so you probably have to take Hankyu, but this is a pretty good location just to live. But um, I'm gonna walk around this area, and um, I've never been in this area, so. I thought maybe I should come down here real quick and show you guys. Um, but it's really lively. I just got off Saturday and um, there's a lot of people out here. Deep fried chicken place. It's really busy. So that's the, uh, the Hanky station. And then there's a pachinko down there. And then there's like a shopping street down here too. But check out this old school um, ramen shop. Look at this tobacco place. It's like, it's crazy. And they're only five bucks. Mm, I mean, if you convert it, it's probably like 450. I mean, if you buy a Marlboro menthol back home, it's probably gonna cost you double the, triple the price actually. But um, yeah, I think it's probably because they tax back home so people don't smoke. But here it's pretty common to smoke everywhere. But um, it's pretty crazy out here. Look at this. It's it's so lively right now. I mean, even like I haven't been here like during the lockdown, but I'm guessing during the lockdown it it might. I I would guess that it would, it was less less busier than this. I would assume. But um, yeah, this place is called, I don't know if you can read that, but it says Juso Friendly Street. And then there is, I don't know which area to walk through. Uh, there's something over there. Look at this big street. Uh, that's the highway. You can probably get to the city through there. This is it. By the way, it's so hot today. Um, the temperature the temperature is not that hot. It's about 81 degrees, which is I don't know like 28 Celsius But the problem is it's been raining like every single day and so it's so humid right now. It's so humid It's it's like you can even just feel like the thickness of this humidity. It's like just wet So I don't know what I'm gonna do Check out the street. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the summer because Man, the Japan Japan summers are no joke. That's why you got to carry a towel with you. You got to carry like a beach towel with you because it's so hot. I, I'm assuming we're gonna do a lot of um, we're gonna do a lot of uh, mall mall tours, nice air conditioned mall tours. I'm sorry guys, but I really like malls. But they don't really have that many malls here. Like they would like in China, they have so many malls there. Look at this place. It's called the Sakamachi. The place I'm looking for is Motoma. Motoma Shopping Street. Motomai? 
and then the, the, you can access the train over there there's a van police right there I don't know what it's doing I'm guessing this is not it I gotta look on uh, Google Maps there's a lot of restaurants here I mean there are a lot of apartments here so they gotta have a lot of stuff here as far as restaurants go and stuff like that but man it is so hot I sh should have put on put some suntan lotion or something looks like a lot of the places are closed I'm guessing they open during the night look at these places what's going on here I don't know if these are shady yeah I think maybe these are the shady clubs vivid crew high quality two-shot cabaret yeah this must be Vivid Crew Juso High Quality Two Shot Cabaret. Like a dark alley you go in here. No, that's not it. It must be open now too, because the lights are on and there's music. It's like these streets are so wide. I gotta look at Google Maps for a second. Okay, so I heard, I just saw someone come out. He looked pretty sweaty. And then I hear someone on the microphone upstairs. So I think it is open. 40 minutes for 7,000 yen. I don't know what that includes, but. I'm not I'm not going to find out. I mean I would, but I'm just cheap. I wouldn't pay seven thousand for that. So I'm gonna walk through here. Look at this. Oh. oh maybe this is maybe this dude is not supposed to uh you're supposed to go here with the camera. I might have to fight somebody. Yeah, see like uh, what are these two? Oh someone's coming out. Maybe this is the street because I've never been actually down this street, but um, I, I I used to ask, I used to ask uh, like my coworkers about living in this area, and they all said no, they would never live in this area. Oh, here it is. And I I asked them why they wouldn't live in this area, and they said it's kind of shady. But I I think to a Japanese person, shady is not as bad if you're from america i mean if you know i feel like i feel like when you when you live in these types of places nobody really bothers you you know i don't know if you know what i'm talking about if you live in like i don't know if you live in like a ritzy area i feel like everyone's gonna bother you about everything like I feel like these places, no one's gonna bother me for bringing a camera. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe they'll start a fight with me. Some chickens just hanging out. It's cool. Cool old shop that nobody probably shops at. But you know, the rent is probably so cheap. This guy's probably been here for like 30, 50 years. I don't know about 50 years, but these old Seiko watches. That's cool, 30 bucks. I probably wouldn't buy it though. Probably get a second hand somewhere. Oh, I can't believe I've never been here. The problem is there's nothing interesting here for me to buy, so I could see why I wouldn't come here. They got music up. They got music playing in the Shotengai though. This old cafe. Can't really see inside, it's too um too dark. Yeah, see, the, usually these show ten guys will have some sort of grocery store, like something like this, where it'll be like cheaper than the regular grocery store. I, I really like coming to these places, and every show ten guy, they're always different. Like the, um, like the roofing is always different. I'm just, I'm just thinking like what it looked like 20 years ago. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I'm hoping in the future I can start live streaming. So if you're the first timer, please just subscribe. And even if you don't watch my future videos, it would just help just to just be a subscriber. Actually, I don't know, maybe that might hurt me. But I'm just trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can start, um, so I can unlock the uh, live stream events. So then I can just talk to you guys and live stream at the same time. A secondhand shop. Got a Grand Seiko 4000. Looks like an older model. Oh, it's not automatic. I need a guitar.
All right, I had to cool down my camera. It's getting too hot. Got some yakisoba in there. There's a lot of people inside. All right. Yeah, so I was just saying that um, even though like in Asia, they have like seedy parts where like they have seedy clubs and like the, that little, little street I walk by. But you know, people don't really pay attention to those things. Like in America, they'll have the seedy place like in the seedy part of town, usually next to a casino. Not that I know from firsthand experience. But um, here they just mix it in with where people live and people just kind of blend in with it. And it's the same in China too. I remember in China, China is even worse. I remember I used to teach at a school and they would have like a special massage place where the girls would be in the, in the window, kind of in the window in the front store area. And they would be wearing very skimpy outfits, but um, it would be like right next to the schools. But people don't really pay attention to those. This seems to be like um, like a fried rice yakisoba. Wow, that looks good. It's like a mix of yakisoba, fried rice, and then they got a fried egg on top as well. I think it's like a okonomiyaki style. Only five dollars. That is. Uh oh, music. Look at this pigeon. Looking for some scraps. This little bakery is really nice. Oh, that was really good. There's another cigarette shop, tobacco shop. People sm smoke a lot here. It's crazy how it's 2021 and people are still smoking. And uh, sorry if you smoke, no offense. I used to smoke since I was like 15 to 25 and then I quit. But I mean, nowadays they make it impossible for people to smoke in like Western countries, I guess. But here, everybody's smoking everywhere. This authentic sushi, Japanese food. It's pretty good. It looks like it's been here for a while. And we have this cool alcohol shop here. Whole bunch of sake. And wine. So, secondhand shop. Got some refrigerators, washing machines. Here's some uh, udon noodles. I don't know. No, these are like some sort of dumplings. Those look really good. Looks like Korean dumplings actually. Oh, I wish they didn't play music here. Ah, oh, this must be another either a highway or a train. Maybe the Kehan line? I'm not sure. But these types of like places like these show ten guys really remind me of Korea. Korea has these types of um, markets as well. I wonder why China never adopted them. I don't know if Jap Japan did it first or Korea did it first. Sometimes I think it's it's Koreans, but then I find out it's Japanese. Like um like Ampama man. Ampama man. I always thought Ampama man was um Korean. Cuz when I remember when I was little, they had Ampama man and Ampama man used to be called Hopang man and that means like bread. Bread man. Oh, those look so good. Look at this strawberry melon bang. Bang means bread. They got croissants. They got all. They got almond melon bang. They got matcha chocolate. Oh my gosh! I wish I could eat bread. But uh, as you know, if you watch my videos, I'm allergic to gluten. This is really interesting, but I mean, it's interesting to come like one time, but I wouldn't come here again. Oh, you know what? It's so hot. I'm just gonna go in here because of the air condition. It's probably really cold in there. It's called Shopee Plaza. I don't think this is franchised. All right, let's get into the local places. Oh, it feels so good. My uh, camera needs to cool down as well. So it's too bad they play music here as well. Oh, this place is really local. It's local, local. Local meaning like local people, not like crazy. Not the Spanish loco. I think I should buy water though. I'm so thirsty. All 
All right, I was gonna buy a drink, but I don't want to wait in line. But just coming out of that store and into this, uh, I don't know, into this Shoten guy, I felt like I was just coming into like a jungle, a humid jungle mist. This this store reminds me of like a Korean store. It just got like all kind of um, old school toys and accessories for children. And then again, like they always have like these old clothes for like grandmas and grandpas. Oh, look at this. Oh. Look at all these sizes 800, 500, 800. It's like beef. That looks so good. I got the. Oh. Got some kimchi. Some chicken. Oh, it's like food over here. Got these huge fried chickens over there. Got a, some sort of drink bubble tea place. All right, this area just started getting more interesting. But I feel like most of the people here are just kind of walking through, and then the people who are shopping are like maybe like housewives. Through this place. If you like onigiri from like those convenience stores, these are like the like the best ones to get. The ones that are made, the ones that are in the family mart and stuff, they are they all have like chemicals and preservatives in them. These usually don't have preservatives and they have to sell them right away. But it's kind of strange that they have food out in the open like this. Just don't trust food that's out in the open. Looks pretty good. House, the housewives um, ran into each other. This area is really cool. We got some uh, sushi here. It's only a dollar per roll. Very interesting. And they got the regular sushi here. Man, it is so hot. I don't know how how they're working inside. And they got this old watch store. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. I, I don't know if tourists or oh, some sort of bami place. Oh, it's a Vietnamese store. They got durian. Yeah, um, I, I, I don't know if it's another Vietnamese. Oh, it looks like you're straight out of Vietnam. Yeah, I, I don't know how, um, how this place would look if they're, if they had, um, tourists here but maybe not uh, maybe this is a place where tourists don't go to i i like going everywhere i like going where tourists are i like going where all the local people go i just like going anywhere that's cool the old bakery this must be so hot in there but yeah anyways i was just saying i like i like going everywhere and the whole point of all these videos is just to like share what i'm seeing with people i know that I feel like a lot of people don't think that makes sense, maybe. But sometimes when I go to these places by myself, I'm just like, man, I wish I could share this with somebody. And sometimes I'm with my girlfriend, but um, a lot of times I'm by myself and I'm just kind of like walking around. And it also pushes me to come out here and like make these videos. So if I wasn't making YouTube videos, I would be just at home stuck. So I, it's kind of, benefits everybody actually benefits me and benefits anybody who enjoys any of these videos watching so um, if you guys been watching from the beginning oh look at this uh, mountain climbing thing who would want this yeah I guess you just kind of like buy a bunch of them and you put it together All right, here's a gun shotgun I wish they didn't have music here I got some uh, crazy shirts it's about to end soon oh. it looks fresh yeah but I was just saying that um yeah just um you know um I make these videos for 
for anyone to watch them that's out there so um, if you enjoy them thank you so much if you don't I'm sorry they will get better these videos will get better but for now this is what, what I'm working with in the future I'm gonna upgrade to a better um, computer um, a better camera and um, you know those cost money so hopefully in the future you know it's it, it'll, it'll get better so please stay tuned and um, please stick around I think that's it It's crazy though because sometimes like when you go to those things and it's like your first time you get like all these kind of um, excited feelings and then you, like you don't know what to expect because you're just kind of like going and walking and it's like all the sensories are going crazy and then once you get out and then it's like a quiet like little cute neighborhood you just like what just happened um, but then I can always go back to spit on myself I can always go back and watch the videos again here's a Chinese restaurant it's pretty Looks pretty cool. It's like it's been here for a long time. Alright, I'm gonna have to end the video soon. Alright, so uh I'm gonna sun. This sun is um uh, it's crazy because it's it's literally literally been raining for a week straight. And then I have today, tomorrow, and then um I'm gonna go to a car show tomorrow, so that might be the video might be out later. But it's it's gonna it's today Saturday, tomorrow Sunday. It's not gonna rain today. It's gonna rain tonight, and then tomorrow it should be drizzling out here and there, overcast. And then it's it's supposed to rain again all week next week. Um, just just to let you know about what's the current situation going on with um, you know, the C word. It um it rhymes with bovid. Um, right now it's it's a huge mess um, as far as Osaka goes uh, they don't have enough Pfizer vaccines they just they, they, they're only keen on giving out the Pfizer vaccine because they think that's the most safe out of all the other vaccines so they pretty much gave away like the AstraZeneca ones um, because um, you know because of like those small cases of side effects and so right now they don't have enough um, vaccines so they have to order more and they don't want to give the one shot because you know you have to get the, the second shot within the three weeks so they've canceled all the first shots so they're not even giving out vaccines anymore so I think um, I believe it's like 20 million elderly over the uh, over the age of 65 has been vaccinated and then um, there's, there's like a park over there I think and then um, I forgot how much, how many people elderly that got the second shot, shot. but um, oh, I think I'm getting a drink. I'm gonna find a loss since this sun is like beating on me. Um, but um, it's not looking good. The Olympics are up in a couple weeks. I was thinking about going there. Tickets right now from Osaka to Tokyo um, were like 80 bucks there and coming back. But then you'd have to take a train all the way to the city from the airport. And, but overall it would probably cost like a hundred bucks but I would have to stay at a hotel hotels are like you know 25 bucks a night but right now I'm currently not working so um, it's not a good time for me so uh, I really want to go out to Tokyo I, I am kind of getting tired of going to this not same places but just Osaka itself and when I make these videos I'm excited myself to go out to these places so lately I haven't been so excited but I do still get excited like today like once I'm out and about walking around then I get excited but once I'm at home I kind of I'm lost but um, I have a bunch of places that I wrote down that I wanted to check out and you know there's gonna be more content coming out I'm gonna try to push as many as possible I guess and um, yeah um, I'll, I'll, st I'll stop rambling on and um, if you watched all the way through thank you for watching my video um, look out for the future video I'm gonna Today I'm gonna, I, I might go to the Don Quixote around here, show you guys that and I'm gonna go down to Umeda and then there's a, just to try to see if there's a one little street area that I've been wanting to go to so we'll go out, go over out there and then um, yeah, look out for those future videos and uh, thank you for watching, goodbye.
out of Scrambler. It's a Ducati. It's probably really expensive. This uh, house over here, 